Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of our tip calculator, our Android tip calculator tutorial. And I'll be honest, right now I'm pretty annoyed because I just finished making this video, and I was trying out a new recording program called uh, Fraps instead of Cam Studio, which is what I normally use. And for some reason, the audio in that video came out terrible, completely unintelligible. And now I can't use it. I have to make a new video at 12 a.m. on Sunday. So, not a great night for me today, but I'll push through it because I want to continue this series. So let's let's get started. Uh, in the last video, what we did was we added functionality to the Add Diner button so that when the user clicked it, it created a new row in main table uh, underneath the first row, the first customer row, and in the row there was one edit text that said customer. And I'll show you that here. So we click it. And it's all good, except that we have a few problems. So first of all, uh, obviously we need another edit text here that says zero dollars, and we need another button here, an add diner button that they can click, or an add item button that they can click. And also if you look at this thing here, uh, first of all when you click it, if you click the first one, it selects the entire text. If you click these other ones, it doesn't do that yet. Uh, and also the layout properties, the alignment, and all of that, the gravity, it's all off, it doesn't look like this one, the the inside gravity is not right center vertical and the whole view, the layout gravity is not center, uh, and other things I'm sure too, so let's go and fix that today. So the plan for today is, we're going to copy the layout properties from these two edit texts and we're going to apply them to these new edit texts that we're going to uh, make. And the way to do that is, first of all, we need to be able to access those edit texts. So let's go ahead and uh, create some variables. Let's declare some variables. And again, what I like to do is just use the same names for the variables as we do for the IDs. So these, this is what we called those two edit texts when we made our XML document. So we declared them, now let's assign them. assign them to something that we cast as an edit text and we find using find view by ID and we pass the ID that we set in our uh, what is it our uh, XML document uh, mount one of one edit text find view by ID and I'm gonna go a little faster than in the past tutorials since I'm starting to, or since I'm sure you're starting to get used to Java and you understand more what's going on here, so I don't have to explain everything. Uh, so that's all good. And if you ever get lost, you know, you can always email me or you know, remember my email is logcon at logcon.com, so that's easy to remember. Or comment or message me on YouTube, anything like that works. Okay, so we can access the edit text now. Uh, so let's go ahead and use them. So, let's go, we created an edit text, we set the text, let's also set some other stuff. Et1 dot set, uh, what is it, on focus, hold on, let me check. So what do we need our, our edit text to have? Let's go back to the XML document, and let's check out the edit text. And again, I have to apologize, my computer is not designed for coding and making videos at the same time. Okay, so it has, the width and height will be set automatically, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, the EMS is basically the text font size, and the default is going to be 10, so we don't have to change that. So we have to set select fo all on focus. So in order to do that, in Java, the code is, or the method is, uh, the edit text dot set select all on focus and pass it a value of true. So now, when the user clicks on any of these edit texts, or any of these ET1s, uh, it'll select everything that's in it. Okay, we also need to set the, uh, let's do the input type next. Now input type refers to, uh, here I'll show you, if you go to the graphical layout tab, or the text fields, there's a, these are all edit texts, but they're different kinds of edit texts. So for these, these are person name edit texts, and these are uh, number decimal edit texts. And when you drag and drop those types of edit texts, uh, Eclipse automatically sets the input type, or oops, sets the input type to the correct version. So this is a number decimal. Um, but if you create an edit text on the fly, you have to manually set the input type. So let's do that. 
So the first one, it's going to be a person name edit text. So we're going to set the input type to person name. And the way to do that, the easiest way to do that is to set input type, which is the method name. And then what we do is first customer dot get input type. Okay, so what this does is we're going to set the input type for ET1. And what are we going to set it to? It's going to be the argument here. And what is the argument? It is get the input type of first customer. So we're going to create a new ET here. And the input type we're going to use is the same input type as first customer. So get input type from first customer and then set ET1's input, input type to that. And always remember to put the two parentheses here. I always forget, but you need to remember to put these here, even though it's empty. Okay, that sets the input type. Let's do the same thing for gravity, I think. What else is there? Uh, there's gravity and there's layout gravity and everything else is fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Set gravity. That's the method, very intuitive. And the one we're gonna use is get gravity from first customer. Again, very intuitive exact same uh, principles being used and okay for the next one for layout gravity it's a little different what we're going to use is the method set layout params and get layout params layout params stands for uh, layout parameters and uh, layout parameters basically refer to everything that's under this little uh, uh, box here so like width height uh, whoops width height and uh, margins uh, and gravity so whatever is here and I think this is also some weight so anyway anyway any, all this stuff here that's layout parameters so when you so what we're doing is we're getting the layout parameters from first customer and we're setting it to ET1 uh, so now our layout gravity is set, our gravity is set, our input type is set, our select all on focus is set. One more thing we have to do is set the, so this is kind of weird, we're going to set the width to uh, first customers get width. And you might be wondering why do we have to set the width, because by default it's already what we want it to be, it's wrapped content. And furthermore we just set the layout params which also copies the, the width, so why do we have to separately set it here? And I will explain that in or at the end of the video. So that's the first set of text. Let's make another one. Uh, and I'm kind of rushing here, partly because uh, I'm kind of annoyed that I have to remake this video, and partly because, again, like I said, you guys are starting to get it now. Okay, so we, I just copied and pasted and replaced ET1 with just two all the way down. And then we don't want to set the text to customer. We can just set it to mount one of one dot get text. And remember, amount one of one has a text value of zero dollars, and that's what we want to set all the subsequent edit text to's to. Uh, and we do the same thing for all these. Switch first customer to amount one of one, because that's the layout properties that we're copying. Okay, and with that done, and you'll notice here, we could have replaced uh, this string here, this customer, with uh, first customer dot get text. Uh, the only reason I didn't was because last video I wanted to talk about strings, so that was a good example. So you can replace that if you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, moving on, uh, let's make an image button. So, image button, let's call it IB equals new image button with a context of this main activity. And we're going to set it to set image resource, which sets the source uh, or the picture. And just put it as r.drawable dot the name of your image minus the extension. And it's all red here, that's just the flips being laggy. Uh, and remember there's four drawables folder, but you only put r.drawable and it'll automatically pick the right resolution one. Okay. And you also, if you're wondering why we don't use get uh, get image resource from uh, from this image here. It's because there actually is no method that is get image resource. So there's set image resource, but there's no easy get image resource, like there's get layout params. I'm not really sure why. I'm sure there's a good reason for why, but I don't really care. So we, we're gonna do it this way. We're just gonna put the actual image location. Okay, everything looks all right. Let's add everything to the row. We already had ET1, so let's add ET2. And let's go ahead and add the, uh, the image button. 
Okay, let's try it out. And let me check out my time here. 10 minutes so far. Okay, that's about what I expected. Excellent. Uh, and we're just waiting for our ABD as usual. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? That is nice. Everything looks very good. You select it and it selects everything. Sorry, I double clicked there. But here, let me try again. Select, 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 select. Everything gets selected automatically. Uh, the alignment is correct. The layout, gravity is correct. There's buttons. Everything is looking good. Okay, uh, I said I would explain the set width part. So you shouldn't have to set the width, right? Because we copied the layout parameters and that includes height and width. But look what happens when I take it out. Something really weird happens. <sighs> Just drinking some Mountain Dew. Okay, when I hit new button, look what happens. For some reason, it seems to push the image button in this first row to the side, outside of the window, and then it wraps the, or it makes the width of the edit text here, just continuously adjust to, and wrap around whatever is in the content is. And the reason that it's not supposed to do that, if you remember, is because we told our main table all the way in our XML up here to shrink and stretch columns such that it's always filled. Like it builds the screen perfectly. That's what this says, right? That's what we told it to do. But it looks like for some odd reason, when you copy the layout parameters, it interacts with the shrink and stretch columns code in a weird way such that it just looks bad. So the way to get around it is to do what we did, which was after you set the layout parameters, uh, just set the width to the, the width up here and that will fix it so that it looks like it's supposed to look. Okay, so before we end the video, I'm just gonna go through everything again to, uh, as a recap like I always do. So we created new two new edit texts, uh, or we didn't, not new ones, but we uh, created two variables and we assigned them to the edit text from our XML so that we could access them and we can borrow their layout format or their layout properties. So we created uh, two edit texts here, and we basically just stole the uh, the layout properties from our XML uh, edit text and gave it to these new ones. So that, and then uh, we made sure to select all on focus to true, and we made an image button and set the drawable, and then we added them all to the row, and we added the row to main table so that every time they click add dyno button, uh, all this stuff happens, and it looks like this thing, this thing of beauty right here. Okay, great. So we're making some good progress and I'm going to end this video and I'll see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. So uh, yeah, good day and good night. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and I just caught something so I'm going to append this to the video. Uh, right here we used mount101 get text. That actually doesn't work, because if you think about it, uh, or sorry, not this one, or yeah, this one. If you think about it, the user can actually change the name of the uh, of the amount. So we want this to always start off at zero dollars, but the user could have changed this already before he hit the new diner button. He could have changed it to like five dollars, and then we'll have a new user starting off with five dollars, and we don't want that. We want it to always be zero dollars. So just change that to zero dollars and put it inside quotations to make it a string and one other thing that i want to add so for these two right here these two text views uh when i made the earlier tutorials i said to set the uh what is it i said to set the gravity uh i want i want to change that oops sorry right here uh erase the gravity for both of them and then go down and, or sorry, oh, I misspoke, I'm sorry. Uh, so for both of these, uh, in the previous tutorials, I said change the layout gravity, uh, undo that. Set the layout gravity to empty, 
and then go down and change the regular gravity to right center vertical for customer and I believe center for oh yeah right there center for the zero dollars uh, so your XML should look like this gravity is right center vertical and gravity is center not layout gravity it was layout gravity before uh, change it to gravity the reason for this is it's a really minute Java thing, uh, I'm not going to explain it, it's just stupid. So just just uh, change it and then don't think about it. Okay, so two things. Change uh, from layout gravity to gravity and also change to zero dollars hard-coded instead of getting the number from uh, amount one of one. Okay, thanks and that's it. See you next time.